Good morning, and um, once again, the weekend rolls by, so that means another weekend at the Vapor Rooms, which means another weekend with myself. So, your local vape connoisseur, as people like to call me, is back once again at Garston in the Vapor Rooms, and today we do have Little Groot. Sorry about the dance, it's just what the Groot on our till does, but <laughs> we've got Groot, aka Sean Cheshire. We've got him in our West Harvey store in that direction today. And today, what I'm primar primarily here to talk to you about is uh, a few things. The usual checking up, seeing how everyone's doing. How's everyone doing, by the way? Good, good. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all enjoying that lovely weather outside. But also, two more things. I will be discussing with you some very good options for sub ohm tanks, your mouth to lung tanks, anything of the sort. But on top of that is just the general synopsis, really. Probably, you probably can think of a better word for it. But generally today, me and Sean in our respective stores today are both here to help you with any of your vaping needs today. Be it anything, something as simple as maybe picking out a new tank to get that nice box mod working once again, or something is really as complicated as getting a bit of advice on rebuilding those me mechanical mods. Maybe you feel a little bit too in uns a bit insecure about doing it yourself and maybe want a bit more of a a bit more of a knowledgeable touch to it, then by all means, pop in today. We've got some free, freshly brewed coffee on the go today with a bunch of cold drinks and a, a buttload of snacks. So, if you are looking to pop in today and grab yourself anything new, get some advice, get some rebuilds, grab yourself some coils, the daily essentials as we like to call them, then by all means come down. We are open till 7 p.m. today. But nonetheless, on to our tank discussions. So, with every vape device, mine too especially, tanks, these things, the differences between them, what do they provide, so on and so forth. Well, as you can tell, there are a plethora of tanks out there, numerous, too many to count. But, we'll always start off with the basic, the nice and easy, and the starter friendly. So. The tank that I'm talking about today, right now, is the Aspire Nautilus 2. Now, this is basically just the reamped version, the, well, the reamped, the revamped version of the old Aspire Nautilus tanks. So, the old Aspire Nautilus BBC, the Aspire K3, so on and so forth. And as you can tell, it's a very shapey tank. It's got a bit of curvature to it, very nice looking, very basic. But that's all you'd really need from off the lung tank. You don't really need all that much more, to be honest. So, that's how you get into filling it. So, with this chamber section, which also does provide a lot of glass protection, does just screw off as standardly. And the glass can just pull off. And that is how you get to your coil on the inside. You can take that out, replace it if needs be. But a fairly basic mouth to lung tank that offers quite a few options. It does have adjustable airflow at the bottom, as you can see. So if you want a bit more of a very restrictive lung hit, you can open it wide open, but you can fine tune it for those mouth to lungs as well. So that is one of many mouth to lungs. Another one is one that I personally use, the Inakin Zenith tank. Now this is a bit more of your restrictive lung hit, as you can tell with it wide open. You can get quite a bit of airflow coming through it, but much like the Nautilus 2, you can restrict it down. So as simple as just having one tiny hole there, mouth to lung. But a very, yet again, simple tank. Bit of a different way of going about it, but filler method is up top. Just give it a simple twist. Your section opens up there. You just put your juice in there, twist it back. Nice and easy. Coils unscrew from the bottom. So with this one, all you do is take your tank off, unscrew the airflow control piece, and you pull your coils out from there. 
Now I'm not going to pull mine out because then that means my juice is going to go everywhere. But now we are stepping into the realm of our sub -own tanks. So if you're looking for a sub -own tank that is fairly old school in its workings, but does have that modern touch, then I would personally recommend the EH Pro Raptor. Now this tank is incredible. So utilizes those mesh coils that we all know and love for that even heat distribution, no hot spots, no burn and taste to it until it does eventually reach the end of its life. So you do get quite a bit of time on these things. So filler method, very simple slide to open. You pour it into there, slide it back. Coil changes just happen to any standard sub ohm tank. Unscrew it from the bottom. The base plate comes out with your coil. You take your coil out the same exact way and rinse and repeat from there. Now, if you're looking for a old school tank, a very similar type of method, but just want it to look super, super, super gorgeous and for it to do a very, a very good job, but you're not really too fussed on the whole redesign of coils. It seems a bit too complicated. I didn't, you didn't see the problem in the first place. UL Valerian, a very good tank. We do have two different color options today, and we do have bubble glass options as well. This one is on here just for the, the display purpose. But filler method, button there, give it a press, pops open up the top, and then you've got two fill ports on the sides here. And typical to every other sub ohm tank, you just turn it upside down, screw, unscrew it from your battery, turn it upside down, twist the bottom, base plate comes out with the coil, twist the coils out. The majority of sub ohm tanks are fairly simple in, in working premise. It's just, sometimes they do look a little bit complicated. And now we do get to our more modern day sub ohm tanks. So strictly mesh coils and new filler methods, coil redesigns, so on and so forth. But a very, very brilliant tank nonetheless is the Horizon Tech Falcon King. This bad boy here. Now we do have bubble glass options for this as well. This is just fresh out the box. So filler method, you do have a button on the side there that protrudes out. What you do is give that a push and it automatically swivels out for you. Giant kidney slot on the side there for your filling. What you do is twist it back, click it in, good to go. Coil changes, exactly the same. Although it is a sort of modern day sub ohm tank, it still works off the old school premise of changing your coils. It's the exact same way, take it off, unscrew the base plate, coils on the inside, unscrew your coils out. But look at that for a coil. Pretty big boy. Dual mesh on the inside as well. So they do have more of the modern take on your coils as well. But a brilliant sub ohm tank nonetheless. All these tanks are brilliant. And any tank is pretty much brilliant. If it does the job for you, then that's all that matters. If it's keeping you off those cigarettes and that combustible tobacco, then what more could we ask for? But that is pretty much it from me today, guys. Just a quick example of some of the sub ohm tanks and mouth lung tanks we offer in store today. But if you are coming down, hopefully I will see you soon. And if not, I hope you do enjoy the rest of your day. I do wish that it is filled with a lot of sun and fun, because it's not very often that we get this. Especially around the times that summer pretty much should have ended. But nonetheless, I'm not arguing. It's a lovely day. Cannot complain. And yeah. If I'm seeing you soon, until then, ta-ta for now.